Hello everybody, here we are back again. My name is David and I show you the Evit. So, in this tutorial I'll show you a little bit of effects. So, how to start with the effects. You see my timeline window is completely empty and I open the red snail. You already know from other tutorials. Um, I erase this in and out points by clicking clear both marks so we go clear and we go fresh through the material I just search with the mouse here you can also go by play and go fast forward with the, with the L you see 50% you can, can also go backwards with the J the J goes backwards L goes forward keep it in mind so, and I say, okay, I in here, and then go there, go out. This is my snail footage. I bring it in the timeline with a B. You see, bam. Do it again. See, it's only video one in the material because there's no audio file um, in this uh, source. And B to bring it again in. So, and um, now I'll show you some effects. This snail I recorded when I was in the forest some weeks ago. With my family. It's on the one hand, it's very interesting to see a snail like this. Also because of this hole, I was uh, very interested. On the other hand, it's a bit boring to see it like just like this. And now. I'll show you, show you some uh, examples for, ed for effects. First of all, you find the effects over here. Yeah. here. This is our bin window where you also have the settings and so on, the format, but this little button means effects. And you have, these are the standard effects of Media Composer. It's a lot and you have to try them and um, yeah, some of them I will mention the common coming uh, tutorials. You go to image, it's like a folder, and these are the effects in the image folder. First of all, I take this flop. This effect is very simple, can only do one thing, it flops. And it just drag and drop it on the uh, timeline, on the um, footage. You see, flop means it's mirrored. That's why the F is mirrored here on this symbol. And uh, the flip, for example, I just drag it on there, like this. So it's mirrored in the other uh, way. And the flip-flop means it's mirrored to both ways. So, And you see, always, uh, every time when I drag a new effect on it, the other effect is disappearing and so this is one way now it's going from the right to the left okay but I want to do some more so I take another effect I take the resize to put the resize on the flop I show you when you do it in the wrong way just drag and drop it on it BAM it's on here you see this is the resize symbol but the flop disappeared. So what? Going back to the flop. Put the flop on it. If you want to use a second or even more effects on one track, you go to this effect, push the Alt button or press the Alt button. I don't know which one is right. Pre press, I think. And then you drag and drop it again. And what happens? You see, this is changing to resize, but it's still flopped. And you double click now on the track. You see, there's the flop, and here's the resize. Ah, that's what we wanted. That's great. <laughs> so, and I hurry up a little bit now to show you some more on the effects. So, I mentioned already the effect mode. You can reach it by clicking on here, or in my case, I have it on the F10. Uh, Think? Yes, and the effect mode 
window, the editor opens. Here you see the timeline again with our snail. And you have uh, some possibilities to to change here. You can crop it, you can change the position and scaling. In this case, we only concentrate on scaling and position. So, first of all, this is 100% scaling. And uh, I want to have a digital zoom on the head of the snail. Well, this is my my result I want to reach. So in this case I use keyframes. Right click here on the timeline, add keyframe. See this purple triangles? This is the moment where I want to zoom. And the zoom should start here in the beginning of the clip. I also do keyframe here by right click. Uh, you also can use this button down here. If you want to delete them again, click to this and it's purple. Right click, delete and it's gone again. Um, so, now nothing happens right now. Go back to this keyframe and I say I want to scale it. I want to scale both axes, so I say fixed aspect, so it stays the same when I move one. For example, 160. Something like that. Or you can just click here and give you the number in. So we haven't done this. You see, the <laughs> head is not uh, not in the frame. Uh, adjust this a bit. So. All right. You can also click with the mouse and change it here a little bit, if you like. Go to the right place and then change it. Um, so now, when you go through this material, the snail is moving and the camera is also moving. But we can also change the behavior of this zoom and go back to the keyframes, right click and see a lot of things. And I wanted to take the spline. It was on linear, now it takes spline. Excuse me. And uh, now we have a look what changed. It's a bit more natural zoom, like a camera, camera operator would do it. So it starts and it slows down in the end. Just as an example. You can do whatever you like, of course. You can also, when you have it like this, Uh, you can uh, move the keyframes to have it faster. Show you. <laughs> yeah, and you can do a lot of stuff here. Of course, you can do the same things with uh, by cropping the picture and so on. You have to try yourself. This was just to show you what you can do with this. Later on, I will show you some advanced use of effects, but uh, this, I think, it's nice to have a little start. So, see you next time. Yours, David. Bye-bye.